All right, check it out. This is a rare one. This is a Japanese early 90s, 91 Washburn N4. When they first started making these in Japan, they uh, pretty much had a company over there make these, and they were an exact duplicate of the Davies, except they had a uh, shower bridge on them. And they have a little bit more of a gloss to them. There's a little bit more of a clear. And you can actually see that even on the back of the neck. There's a kind of a satin finish. Uh, I've had a lot of people hit me up and ask me why I would not remove that. And it's just because it's actually really nice on this guitar. The other cool thing is this guitar cuts through like no other N4 I've ever played. It's really super loud. And every note really just cuts through. Um, I put this guitar on reverb not too long ago, only because I've got way too many M4s right now. And uh, I got up to like eight, and I really only play like three of them. So I just kind of wanted to uh, thin the herd, if you know what I mean. This is one of the ones I've got on reverb, and I've got it at a fair price for what you would find of a Japanese one. And this one's in really great shape. It's got your typical little little dings and stuff you'll find on an M4. It's got a little ding up here somewhere. A little bit of wood rubbed away there. L500 XL in the bridge, uh, 59 in the neck. <clears throat> amazing fret job on this thing. Uh, just an amazing piece of wood. Like I said, it's really loud, really resonant. Uh, let me flip it over here real quick. So yeah, it's got the Washburn tuners like you would find on a very early Davies. <clears throat> serial number is in the neck pocket. The serial number on this one, I'm not going to let everybody know what it is, but it does date it to being a 91, very early model. And you can see the back of this thing is just like a Davies where this uh, neck plate comes right up to the wood. There's not a gap of wood in between there like you'd find on a normal newer N4. Uh, it also has the Davies style plates on the back of it. And, uh, yeah, just a beautiful guitar, beautiful in four. And like I said, this thing is really loud and it cuts through, uh, really well. Uh, I actually want to take this up to my, my tech. He's actually already done the frets on this guitar. I had him just kind of do the fret ends and round them off and make them nice and smooth. Guitar has a little bit of fret wear on it, but not enough to where you would go leveling frets yet. And it's really just on these first two frets there. And it's not really enough to even barely notice. So uh, it plays and sounds perfect. So I don't want to screw with that, mess with that at all. I did put a new N4 sticker on it. Looks cool. These uh, shallow tremolos are awesome. They play and sound great. Maybe that's why it's so loud and cuts through so well. My, my, maybe it's this trim, I don't know. Or maybe it's the, the clear that's on it. You can actually kind of see that clear on it you know the newer in fours just kind of have a sealant of uh polyurethane gel it's wiped on and wiped off it's very super thin um this one actually has a little bit of clear to it back of the neck like i said is a satin finish um, a lot of people have asked me you know are you planning on sanding this thing down or relicking it no i would not change this guitar for anything i don't want to make it anything other than what it actually is and like I said, it just plays and sounds perfect. So why do anything with it? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. Like the video if you dig it. Check out all my other videos. And uh, join us on uh, Facebook and my Facebook group. I will put a link in the, uh, in the description. Have a good one. See ya.